Is Facebook's centralized metaverse a threat to the decentralized ecosystem? Hello, crypto family! <laughs> Alright guys, welcome once again to another video of Crypto Rocket, where we will be discussing the things happening in the crypto world, our upcoming trends, and we'll also be nominating some high potential future projects. Now we see that some people in the crypto world have expressed concern about Facebook's metaverse intentions. Well, there's every reason to assume that the metaverses will have a decentralized future. So guys, today we are going to be talking about whether Facebook's centralized metaverse is a threat to the decentralized ecosystem or is it just an addition to the whole. But before we start guys, I'd like to say this, a little bit of a disclaimer, okay? It's quite important that you note that I am not a financial advisor and everything in this video is not a financial advice. This is basically just my research based predictions on the market, okay? So without wasting further ado, let's dive in. Now. People who have been into crypto, and specifically the metaverse, knew that Facebook has been planning its debut into the metaverse for quite some time, perhaps several years. However, it is only recently that the company's ambitious development plans have rocketed the concept into the forefront of global news. In other words, the metaverse is now mainstream, well, all thanks to Facebook. The parent company actually renaming itself to Meta was likely the company's greatest and clearest statement of intent. And due to this, the major news outlets were suddenly flooded with explanatory articles, and finance websites were brimming with enthusiasm about the potential opportunities in this new sector. Within the cryptosphere, however, the reaction has been understandably muted. After all, decentralized versions of the metaverse have been in development for several years in this area. But the worst scene is from the big monopolies like Facebook and Google that have a very casual attitude to what user privacy and data harvesting, which has influenced many of the blockchain and crypto projects to decentralize even more. Nonetheless, metaverse currencies such as Decentraland, MANA, and Sandbox Sand saw huge gains as a result of the news and this centralized metaverse startup, The Sandbox, got a whopping $93 million in funding from investors, including SoftBank, just days after Facebook's statement. Hmm, now the question is, is Facebook's rebranding to Meta a good news for NFTs and metaverse initiatives in crypto now that the dust has settled? Or does Meta have the potential to suffocate this still developing industry? But to reach a conclusion, we have to go through some major points such as discovering some hidden secrets about Metaverse. Now, it is possible that the year 2021 was not entirely coincidental in terms of individuals becoming serious about the Metaverse. So many things have gone digital as a result of the pandemic, from socializing to shopping to work that it sometimes felt like we are almost halfway into a Metaverse. But the truth is, we aren't quite there yet. Uh, even close. You see, the metaverse is a loosely defined all digital layer of reality that floats above, around, and through the features of the real world, or in other definitions, is completely different from it. In dystopian novel Snow Crash, author Neil Stephenson is often credited with originating the metaverse. Snow Crash's metaverse, on the other hand, was half humorous, but dystopian, and with luck, not where we are headed. Ready Player One by Ennis Klein depicted an escapist and nostalgic metaverse, the Oasis. To different people, the concept of the metaverse signifies very different things. What exists right now is a series of embryonic digital spaces such as Facebook's Horizon, Epic Games' Fortnite, Roblox Digital Space for Gaming and Game Creation, and the blockchain-based digital world Decentral, and all of which have clear borders different rules and objectives, and different rates of growth. But there are certainly few things which you should know before joining Metaverse, such as the Metaverse is a network. It is a collection of services that are loosely linked together, both by companies establishing dedicated roadways linking their services and by consumers beating their own path to travel from one location to another. That is also why some of the first avatar-based services, such as Second Life, are in the metaverse in and of themselves. Just as the mobile internet isn't just one app, and none of your phone's apps would have thrived if it weren't for the existence of a slew of other apps and services, 
the metaverse relies on a slew of interconnected services to thrive. But at some point, we all must have thought, why metaverse matters? Believe it or not, guys, the rush to the metaverse did not begin with Zuckerberg's obsession with virtual reality. Rather, it is influenced by a variety of things. Now you see, hundreds of millions of people are using avatar-based social gaming platforms. The pandemic has compelled us all to seek out new types of real-time engagement. And firms like Apple, Amazon, Google and Meta are all attempting to figure out what will be the next big thing after the smartphone. And while these patterns are unfolding in real time, one key question remains unanswered. Another question is, what is the Metaverse outlook for the next five years? Metaverse basically is a technology that is predicted to revolutionize gaming, artificial intelligence and virtual reality. By 2028, the Metaverse market is estimated to be worth 814.2 billion US dollars, with a CAGR of 43.8% over the forecast period. The global metaverse business is increasing due to rising interest in areas such as socializing, entertainment and creative. The benefit of cross-company collaborations and working together in fields such as gaming, marketing, share business and others is another driver driving the market's growth. This has heightened the trend among the younger generation to employ metaverse software to generate unique ideas and successful startups. And further, as we all know, Metaverse is booming in the market. It not only has advantages in gaming, in entertainment, but also huge investors are investing funds in advertising and other respective spaces. Well, companies such as Facebook Inc. are investing huge amounts of funds in collaborating with government bodies and also the private sector for uplifting social media channels, an easy way for advertising and marketing. These are a few of the important factors that are driving the growth of the market. So, after considering all these factors, we may deduce that, rather than striving to dominate, Facebook may opt to merge with establishing metaverses, games and crypto financial protocols, a scenario that could be significantly more disruptive. Given the size of Facebook's user base, it might have a significant impact on the crypto industry. Now another question is, is it possible that someone might transfer NFT assets between the Facebook metaverse and a decentralized network of metaverses? Another question, on a DAX, can I sell Facebook issued NFT assets? Import a $69 million Beeple to the Facebook metaverse for a virtual exhibition? Now this appears to be an implausible situation because it would require significant adjustments in Facebook's mentality. On the other hand, a new analysis from Grayscale, a crypto forecast firm, reveals the firm's upbeat view on Web3's future. Grayscale's November starter report, which focuses on the metaverse, has been released. The metaverse and Web3 are estimated to be a trillion dollar revenue possibility by the corporation. While it would vastly increase economic opportunities, regulatory concerns, risk assessments and Facebook's history of consuming rather than playing alongside competitors are likely to be major roadblocks. Just as Facebook's Libra generated a lot of buzz before being stifled by regulations, it appears likely that the construction of a Facebook metaverse will have a similar effect on the cryptocurrency business. Regulators will impose restrictions on Facebook's ability to deal with money and finance, and the firm is unlikely to develop an irrational yearning for open-source, decentralized solutions. Well, in this regard, there are numerous chances for decentralized metaverse projects to push their own offers into the spotlight, demonstrating how decentralized solutions are currently delivering what Facebook is still creating. Woo! Man, that was quite a piece, huh? <laughs> Alright guys, so that concludes today's video, but still, if you have any questions about any upcoming or running metaverse project or about metaverse itself, then let us know so we can make a video about it as soon as possible. Now if you have found the content quite helpful, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel to get us more subscribers and for weekly content like this. Thanks guys, thank you always for watching and see you in our next video. Until then, goodbye.